If you're a university student like me in the UK, or you're just someone looking to save some money and you drink coffee every day and you don't want crappy powdered coffee, this might be the best coffee machine deal right now. This is the Nespresso Virtual Pop and Nespresso is running a 50% discount, so it's £49 for the coffee machine. But more than that, you get 12 free capsules with the machine and as part of this discount, they're throwing in 50 free capsules of coffee as well, which means for £49, you're getting 62 cups of coffee. Unfortunately, though, about 11 of the those cups are going to be decaf capsules, so it's more like 51 cups of actual coffee, but coffee is still coffee. And if you do the maths, that's less than a pound for a cup of coffee, and you get a coffee machine at the end of this. And then the capsules, after you run out of the free capsules, will cost about 45 to 65, 75p per capsule, so 45 to 75 pence per cup of coffee afterwards. But the thing is, because this is a new lineup and currently only the capsules are being sold at Nespresso shops, capsules are going to be a little bit pricier. But I think as this line gets more popular, which I'm sure it will be with such a good discount, and I'm sure as time goes on and the capsules get out to different supermarkets, the price will be driven down by demand and having bigger supply and just supermarkets driving prices down by carrying so much of the stock. Which means on the surface, this whole thing looks like a very, very good deal and one that I'll probably recommend great lead to people who are on a budget and drink coffee every day like university students in the UK. But how is it actually like in real world use? Well, let's start off with the whole setup experience with it. And as you can tell from the unboxing, it's pretty simple. Uh, there's only one thing you need to be aware of when you're first using this machine. Once you plug it in and everything, you need to do a rinse procedure. So fill up the machine with water and press the button three times and it will auto rinse with hot water so that it's clean and safe and sterile for you to drink coffee. After you've done that though, it's as simple as throwing the capsule in and pressing the coffee button and coffee just comes out into your cup. And as far as coffee taste goes, it actually goes pretty well. There is some interesting coffee tech here. So there is a barcode on the bottom of every single capsule. The machine will scan it before making your coffee so that it knows the optimal settings for your coffee, which is funny, but supposedly it helps and it will then spin the capsule so like things are balanced out and distribution of the hot water is perfect or whatever the marketing material says. Um, supposedly this is to help you make better coffee and to have more options. There are capsules that can give you a large cup of coffee, a big brew and then there are also capsules that are going to give you a very a small amount of coffee in the form of an espresso shot which is also why there are different prices for different coffee capsules. It's cool in theory and it's fun to hear the machine go vrrr but I don't know how much that actually matters. So then who should actually buy this? Well, it really depends on whether you care about the pros more than the cons. So the pros of it are pretty simple. You save a lot of time because now you have the flexibility to get coffee whenever you want and you save a lot of time not having to queue for coffee. The cons are there's extra hassle because now you have a machine to maintain. It takes up space that you might not have if you're living in student accommodation, for example. Uh, and it's also you're going to have to add your milk and sugar yourself. So that's a little bit of extra hassle. Not that that much but it's still hassle. Another pro is that you do save cost, 60 to 70p per cup of coffee, that's actually decent. Compared to two pounds from Cafe Nero is going to be something that I would say is a cost saving, especially if you add it up across multiple months and you're drinking one to two cups of coffee every day, it does add up and it does matter. And then there's also the concern for long-term reliability because this Nespresso Virtual Pop has a spinning mechanism which spins the capsule when it's making the coffee. I might not be super confident about it last for years and years and years it really depends on your luck. I've only used it for a couple of weeks and it's been flawless and have had no issues but who knows maybe there is some design flaw here especially since it's a new model lineup a new kind of design completely that means it's going to be a bit problematic but hopefully it isn't and for 49 pounds if I get 200 cups of coffee out of this I'm not going to really complain anyways. So for me it's absolutely been an excellent decision I'm very happy with buying this coffee machine and I think for a lot of uni students or people on a budget I would strongly recommend it. it might not be for everyone especially if those cons concern you greatly but for the average person trying to save some money and still get decent coffee day in and day out espresso virtual pop is really a good deal that you should check out and with that thank you guys so much for watching like and subscribe and um, yeah this is my first ever video on this channel for context I just started my school in a foundation course in London before I go to university and I've been doing so much research on cost saving and leaving well despite being on a budget and living alone. So uh, I'll be sharing what I've learned and what I've experimented and my experiences on this channel. So if you want to watch more of that, make sure you subscribe. I'll see you guys next week, weekly uploads. Bye.